have it in the box and he brings it back out and they'll set up the offense. Here's David Vroom. Vroom, of course, the icebreaker in this contest at the 256 mark to put the Wildcats up one nothing. Busy, busy day, busy weekend here in the state of Georgia with the GHSA state championships, the spring state championships, and they all are on the NFHS network. Here's Jones. Jones into the box. Here's Patton. Patton, they're going to leave him open. So he goes back to Jones. Jones going to go back behind. Now stop. Come back in. Looks for the fake. Good long pole action. We're whacking at him. Do will not let him do it. And he has to go back and reset it and bring it back out to Patton. So Jack now being guarded and whacked on defensively. Now he's going to move down the left. Coming in. Shot. Tried to dump it off. No. Higgins with the save. And here come the Lions on the clear. Dropped it. Picked it back up. Now going to go through the wing area. There's the pass up ahead. They'll get the clear and get it into the box. So now the Lions will set it up and get their attack and their middies ready to go. They'll go in behind, and now here's Bailey Taylor. Taylor just inside the box, spins it back out to the top, and here's Cooper Higgins. Cooper twirls it in his cross, now moves, and going to go back in beside, and they'll set it up. We'll go with a little 2-3-1 action. Comes out from behind, they break it. The defense is right there with him. Good defense there. Is that Woodhouse? Yeah, Woodhouse really whacking him and being physical with him back out to the top. It's high of the box. So now here's Busek. Quinn slip. I thought the turf had pretty much dried as you see the sun splits it back out. Shot. Save. Good job. Tyler Bass, the senior. Going to take the lacrosse game to Middleborough. And now here comes Woodhouse. Woodhouse in transition. Ball deflected away. It's on the ground. Will it be a ground ball pickup for the Lions? They fight for it. There's a push for it. Now they're going to pick it up. Here come the Wildcats. He bobbled it and walked it, lost it into the cross. It's on the ground again. Can anybody keep the ball in the cross at the moment? The Lions now coming out on the clear end. The pass was knocked away. Spin move. Beautiful in transition right there. Here's Walker. Ben Walker into the left alley. Walker now going to go back in behind. And here comes Fitzharris. Fitzharris is back in. Will Fitzharris now over to Pat, uh, the Patton, and Patton will wait as they'll get the adjustment. Vroom will come in. They get those middies in. Ten men on the field now. You know that. Three attack, three middies, three defensemen, and then your goalie. Take it. Here comes Patton with a spin, trying to go back in behind. Look for a second goal. It's in front. Goal! Patton on the assist. The goal by Fitzharris at 8.57. Patton with the assist. He'll pick up a point there. Will Fitzharris with the goal. And the Wildcats lead 3-2 at 857. And Tomahawk Chalk. The Wildcats, when did they start having Tomahawk Chops? That's what the student section is doing. The lights are on here at Lakewood Stadium. The cloud is now sitting above us. Please don't come down on us right now. Dunlop. Nope. Holding on. Did they call it? Yeah, holding on Westminster. Man up advantage. No. Let's see. The position faceoff technically will go to the Wildcats for their third victory. Here they'll come with that open set, and let's see what they'll do. Up to the top, here's Broom. Defensively now, checking in is Jack McGowan. The midfielder for the Lovett Lions, and here comes Luke Jones as well. Jones, Kelly, and Broom. The middies right now with Patton, Fitzharris, and Fitzharris. Cope and Will on the attack for the Wildcats. Spins it. Now I'm going to go inside. Here comes Luke Jones. Luke being bothered as he goes back in behind. He spins it across the pattern. Jack has it. Now he flips it out. Had to go reaching for it was Cope. Now he gives it back to Jack, and they'll set up something else. Defense in tight right now for the Lovett Lions. 7.55 to go. The Wildcats with the 3-2 lead off of the Will Fitzharris goal. 
Fitzharris, that was his 52nd goal. The assist went to Jack Patton. That was his 33rd assist. Here's Jones, top of the box as they're working it around and swinging it. Patton behind a box of Fitzharris, faked the pass, now going to come back out, nothing there. The Lovett defense in tight now in this set. Jones, a shot, save, Higgins. Charlie Higgins, a sophomore, second team All-State. You see why now here come the Lovett Lions on the clear. Get it into the box. The defenseman, high shot, long pole. No, it will stay with the Lovett Lions. He took his shot, Peyton Bogart. Haven't called Charlie Padgett's name that much. Peyton Bogart, that long pole action. Of course, as a defenseman and that long pole, he's not going to have a high amount of shots or goals or assists for that matter, but his game is defensively sound enough. He'll be going to Maryland. In the box, one way in the other with the juke now is Fulton Bayman. Bayman could not have it, so he gives it over there. Here's Cooper Higgins. Shot! Goal! Cooper Higgins! His second goal of the day. Love it continues to answer. We're tied. Three all. Higgins at 631. We're tied 3-3. I think 10 is the magic number. Cooper Higgins and Fairfield is where he's going along with Charlie Higgins. Keep it in the family. Keep it at the school, huh? Dunlop and Jones again will meet for the faceoff, 631. On the ground, knocked around, and Lovett will come away with it. Lovett with their sixth faceoff win. Knocked away. Woodhouse couldn't pick it up. Now looks, in there. there's a spin. Taylor wanted to take the shot, and not there. It's on the ground. They fight and push for it. Ground ball picked up, and here he comes. Now is Jones, but no. A push call. Goes back to Lovett. Crowd doesn't like it. I love it. The uh, Westminster crowd does not like it. The students have not sat down on either one of them. If you're sitting down, you're sitting up a little bit higher because the students would block your view. On this side. And a very nice crowd, by the way. The Westminster crowd, I would say, will outnumber the Lovett crowd by a couple, by a little bit. They got a little bit more. All right, here's Lovett on the attack. Six-minute mark into the box. Shot. Save in front by Tyler Bass. He's having trouble keeping it in his cross. Lost it in front. Now he has to cover it. And now they push and fight for it. And now a whistle. And let's see what we have. Bass could not cleanly get that. It will go to Lovett. Love it will get the possession, and they'll be ready to set it up immediately once the ball is whistled in. Cooper Higgins again, as I mentioned, that's his second goal. He's not a stranger now. His second team all state in front, looking, pushed around. Bateman lost his feet. Ball is on the ground. It's outside of the box. It's headed back toward the wing area. It's knocked around. It's in over in the wing area now. Who's going to get the ground ball? Ground ball picked up in there. Here come the Lovett Lions. Over in the alley. Now he lost it. Is this, does he have a hole in his cross? A turnover. Goes, to, <laughs> goes over to West Minister. It looked like he had a hole in his cross. Did not know what happened there, Walker Saint, the young sophomore. Wing area on the far side of the field. Looking to get it into the box. He stepped in, and they'll step back out, and he gives it to Vroom. So David Vroom now will come on the attack into the box. Getting whacked at defensively there by... Letter, Adian Letter, Dominion a junior. Here's Kelly. Kelly twirls it in his cross, looks. He wanted to spin it back, denied the passing lane initially to Vroom, but Vroom now has it. Walker, Vroom, and Kelly, the middies on this set now for the Wolves. The Fitzharrises and Patton on the attack. Now here comes Jones. Jones back to Patton. Patton around. There's Fitzharris. A shot. A goal. Patton, another assist. 4-3. Wildcats at the 433 mark. 
Fitzharris. This time, it was Colt. I would say that this is a back and forth thing, but it's not. Lovett is always answering Westminster. Westminster has not trailed in this contest. Lovett has not led face-off time. Lovett leaves this category, though, 6-3. to three. Lost that one. There's the fourth win. Picked up here in this third quarter, 425 to go. In the right wing area is Jones. Now he gets it back. Excuse me, that's the alley. I apologize. And now here's Room. As they work it around, John Islar will come out. Now here comes Kelly, the offensive midi. But you do have your offensive midis and your defensive midis. But now here's Fitzharris. Fitz Fitzharris in behind. Now he spins it back out up to the top. Now here's Room. Over to Kelly. Love it. Now we'll need to tighten it up, trailing by a goal. Four to three. The boys in white, the Wildcats, have that four. Wesley Milner now immediately has checked in a senior on this attack four. The Wildcats. Nice little juke and hesitation by Kelly. Kelly gets it back out now, and here's Patton. Patton gets a long pole fish and tap by Charlie Padgett. Shot, goal! Vroom! His second goal, and the first time a team has scored two in a row. David Vroom at 3.32. A two-goal lead for the Wildcats. 5-3. I missed the assist. I apologize. There was an assist on the play. I don't know if it was not Jones. Not sure who the assist was, but Vroon made his move and scored his second goal of the game. Face off, won by the Wildcats. They are trying to get the momentum now, a whistle and a timeout. The Wildcats with the momentum, they have the offensive possession, and they call a timeout. They scored two in a row. You're watching live coverage of the GHSA Lacrosse Championships on the NFHS Network. NFHSnetwork.com slash GHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Georgia high school championship action. Today's game is also available for all subscribers via our mobile website. Log on to NFHSnetwork.com from your smartphone or tablet and view live games or replays from anywhere. Timeout on the network. Out of the timeout, the Wildcats now with a little momentum and a, a, a little bit of breathing room. I didn't think anyone would get the 10 goals. They're halfway there, 5-3. to three. Joel Hillsman, glad that you're with us. The 2017 GHSA Lacrosse State Championships live from Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. And the Wildcats now on the attack, smelling blood and trying to go for more. Here's Jones. Jones spins it over to Kelly now. Kelly and Jones, they play catch, and now working into the box is Jones. Jones being worked on defensively. He spins it to the backside. They work it around. Off a pick. Shot. Cool. It hit the post. It's still alive, and Vroon is going to take it just outside of the box. A beautiful play call there. Cope hit the post. Vroon, a shot. No. Good save in there or attempted save by Cooper Higgins. 
Possession will be retained by the Wildcats. 2.40 to go, third quarter, 5-3. to three. Westminster with the lead. Jones, one way and the other behind the net, and they'll come back out, set it up, that open set offense which they ran much of the day. Here's Patton. Patton, who has a goal to Kelly. Kelly to Vroom. Long pole action tried to deny. Now he's poking at him and whacking at him. Good defense by Charlie Padgett. Padgett really bothering him, but Vroom doesn't really care. He's getting whacked and killed. Ball picked up, scooped up, and here's Kelly. Kelly hesitate, Jab to the left. Not there. Goes to the right. They go back in behind. Here's Fitzharris. Fitzharris, they ran the same play this way. Oh, Peyton shot. No good. Patton shot. They ran the exact same play. That little curl coming off that curl action. Hit him off the curl and give him a shot free though. Fitzharris in behind. Shot, no. Jones, he's going to go over to Jack Patton. Defense in tight now for the Lovett Lions. And Vroom right there in the middle. And somebody long pole action stuck their stick right on him to know where it was. Patton has it, 140 to go third quarter. Fitzharris to Fitzharris. Cope back out to Jones. Jones is inside of the box. Now here's Cope. Cope now back to Jones. Jones eyeing up a shot. Faked it. Now gives it over to Patton. Patton in the middle. Bounced away. They'll chase it down and that'll go to the possession. Oh, oh no. They're going to say it goes to the Wildcats and the ref is saying it was deflected. The Wildcats will retain the possession 80 seconds. Jones steps out of the box in the middle and looks. Coach Souza gives out the signal of what they want to do offensively. Patton has it. Higgins almost came all the way out. Shot high. Got your man back in behind to help you keep the possession. Here's Fitzharris. Fitzharris now swings it. They'll kick it. There's Vroon to Jones. Jones now back to Vroon. And David will spin it in his cross. Back over on that far side with 48 seconds. Here's Patton. Patton. Now back in behind is Fitzharris. Fitzharris now to Patton. Patton a shot. No, it was a pass. Jones going to take it. They're going to say shot. Looked like a pass to me. And the Lovett crowd didn't like it, and the Lovett players didn't like it. So they quickly come in. The Wildcats trying to catch them, maybe upset. Final half minute, third quarter. Padgett whacking defensively on him. Here's Patton. Patton now will take it. And he'll spin it in his cross. He goes back in behind to Fitzharris. Fitzharris now to Cope. Cope, shot. Higgins on the save. Final 10 seconds. The clear is down deep. Here is Bayman. Bayman's got to watch the clock. Six, five. He makes his move into three, two shot right in the bass. Bass a long shot at the horn. And that'll be it. Three goals put up in this third quarter. A big third quarter for the Westminster Wildcats. And Coach Souza's bunch has a 5-3 lead headed to the final frame. We're taking Never Ending to the next level at Olive Garden. For the first time ever, Never Ending Classic starting at $11.99. Indulge in Never Ending helpings of your most loved classic dishes. How about irresistible chicken parmesan? Can't decide? Switch it up on a refill. Plus, all the garden fresh salad and breadsticks you want. New Never Ending Classic starting at $11.99. The best things in life should be never ending. At Olive Garden. Olive Garden delivers the final moments. Bring home Italian favorites and they'll cheer for you on game day. Olive Garden is the official dining room of high school sports, and with the new catering delivery service, you never have to miss a moment.
We welcome you back inside of Lakewood Stadium. Joel Hillsman, we go to the fourth quarter of the 2017 GHSA Lacrosse State Championships on the NFHS Network. It's the boys' class 1A through 5A. Love it versus Westminster. Westminster with a 5-3 advantage. Love it gets credit for that face-off win. A strong, strong third quarter by the Wildcats. And a goal by Love it. At the 11.53 mark. Cooper Higgins on the goal. Cooper Higgins now trying to put on a date. Ground ball there. Cooper Higgins with his third goal of the day. He has three of the four goals. And now a flag down. And we're going to have a penalty coming up. Who's going to get the man up advantage now? Man up advantage will go to the Wildcats. Love it. When they had their man up, they scored. Bailey Taylor at 126 in the second. Working in behind now. Jones. Jones to Fitzharris. Fitzharris now spins it back over. Milner in. Shot. Goal. Just like that. The man up advantage. The Wildcats answer. At 11-18, on the man up, it's 6-4. Both teams one of one on the man up. Vroon, David Vroon gets the goal. Rune is having a wonderful day. They are picking it up now. Six to four. Eleven fifteen to go. Here's Luke Jones. They get that well, and a shot and another goal. And the Wildcats now are pouring it on. Jack Patton again. The Wildcats now seven seconds apart. They have their biggest lead of the day. It's a three-goal advantage, seven to four. They're beginning to, they have just turned it on here in this second half. We were tied at two, and they put up three big goals in that third quarter. Now they've got two back-to-back -back goals. The margin now has increased seven to three. They fight for it. And the whistle, hold call. It will go to the Wildcats. So things now beginning to bust at the seams for the Lovett Lions. Here's Jones. Patton with his second goal of the day. 60th goal of the season. And he already has an assist, so he is doing it well. 93 points so far. Minute and a half gone by. Goes around the screen now, into the box, looking. Spin it back out, can't catch who that is. Here's Patton. Patton makes his juke. Patton going to turn around and go around the screen. Patton 
got bothered. So now he gives it off, and here's Vroom. David Vroom working with it now. Two minutes gone by in this fourth quarter. And two quick goals from the Wildcats. Seven seconds apart. Vroom will have it back out to Kelly now. Kelly twirls it in his cross and now spins it over on the left side, and now he'll hand it over to Milner. Milner, the senior midi. In the Fitzharris. Cope has got a beeline to the net. He didn't take that shot, though. Spins it back. They're looking for something better. Not there. Fitzharris now will. Spins it in his cross. He was bothered. Wind really whipping in the box now, as you can hear it through our net sound. Varun lost it. It's still on the ground. You can kick it. If you see them kick it, it is legal. Picked up by. Was that Milner who picked it up? 11? Yes, it was. Fitzharris will. will have it. And will spin it over now on that left side behind the net and Jack will take it back in behind as we come up on nine minutes seven to four Wildcats with a cushy three goal lead the biggest lead of the day shot goal Patton again they expanded to four the Wildcats are on fire Jack Patton at nine minutes exact eight four Westminster I see you, Mr. Patton. 61st goal of the year. 94th point of the year. Love it reeling. They must call time. The Love it Lions call time. High school sports fans never miss another game. Become a subscriber to the NFHS Network to watch live event coverage, game replays, and highlights from high school sporting events from across the country. Millions of athletes, thousands of games, one destination, NFHSnetwork.com. We are high school, and we are in the state of Georgia, the 2017 GHSA Lacrosse State Championships. You're watching it live right here. NFHSnetwork.com slash GHSA is your destination for the most comprehensive coverage of Georgia high school championship action. Championship mode ramped up now for the Westminster Wildcats. They expanded to 8-4. to four. 